So we are now at the end of the line. That's back deep on the Norway, back where we came from. And this is entering the end of the line at Cape May. So this is the fourth switch. And with these, they all have a little bit of shine to them and new locks on them. So this is switch one. And then as we keep walking, every so often you can see new ties. Like the one right here. That track branches off and then this one has some, another stretch on it. Which is right here, and again, new ties. And it looks like they actually used both of these rails a little bit. There's an old concrete wall there, I don't know what that was for. But directly ahead of us, there was an old, uh, I wouldn't call it a passenger car, but it's not motorized. It's like a little push around people moveable thing. So the track that branched off back there is now going down underneath of that container into the ground. And then we have this little gizmo with seatbelt. A lot of step ups on it, which is pretty cool. We keep going up. That track stays right beside us until we get up to the station. There's another stretch hill. It goes into three tracks going across the road. The tracks over there. Assuming the rails are still there and just in the ground. And this is the old station. So as you can see, this middle track ends through a bump hole. The one on the right just kind of fades into the ground and ends at the side, I'm assuming. And this one disappears underneath the road. So this is where I'm at now. That is looking to Cape May. It's a double main. I believe this one branch used to branch out. I know that track is the line that goes back to Cape May. This track just kind of ends up so there. Now this is looking away from Cape May to New Jersey or deep in New Jersey. And there are rail cars still sitting here. As you can see, this track looks to be slightly kept up with. So if you walk down towards Cape May, there's an old signal hill. It's a Cape May Tower. On my map, it says there are rail cars here, but clearly there's not. This track, as you can see, straightens out a little bit. It goes straight. This one curves and goes into Cape May to the station. So we're at the canal where the old swing bridge is. You can see those, again, some new tights here.
There it is. The swing bridge. We are now walking back towards Cape May from the swing bridge. Because I see what looks like a old switch and signal up here. So here it is. It was probably just an old derail for if the bridge wasn't set. You can actually see some of the names on the equipment still. And this has to be newer than the. See right there, there is a old signal for if the ridge is set or not. As you can see right now, I'm actually up on the signal, and you can see the amazing view of the railroad we have. This is a really cool spot. You can get some great pictures here. As you can see, I was just up here, but this perfectly good track goes on for miles. I wish I had one of them bikes that you can plop down on the track and go. Because this is the perfect spot. You can start here, go all the way to Cape May. Because this is all intact through here for now. Hopefully, they don't get rid of it.